U.S. stocks, they rebounded from their lows Tuesday afternoon with the Dow Jones floating in and out of positive territory. This after lawmakers in Cyprus overwhelmingly voted against the controversial bank bailout deal. Now this afternoon, Cyprus Parliament rejected a, rejected a bank on rejected a tax on bank deposits as conditions of an international bailout. 36 members voted against the proposal, 19 abstained, and not one single person voted in favor of it. Meanwhile, reports surfaced that the finance minister of Cyprus offered to resign, but the president rejected the resignation, while unconfirmed rumors came about that Cyprus will leave the eurozone if the bill does not pass. The country's banks remained closed and trade on the island stock exchange is also suspended until Thursday. Now on to the U.S. economic front. Housing starts that rose 0.8 percent in February to a 917,000 unit annual rate. This while new permits for construction jumped to its highest level since 2008. Also, the Federal Reserve's Open Market, Open Market Committee meeting, that starts its two-day meeting today, and investors will be looking for signs that the central bank could start winding down its quantitative easing program. And with the euro currency down below $1.29, briefly hitting its lowest level since November 2012, and the oil prices down more than 1.6% intraday, it looked to be quite the interesting and mixed finish for the Dow Jones this session. Speaking of which, taking a look now to see how the Dow Jones closed out today, the Dow is slightly on the upside. 3.76 points to settle in relatively unchanged, 14,455.82. In a breakdown of today's major market movers, we first begin with earnings. DSW, that took a hit today after the footwear retail company missed earnings and revenue expectations. Walgreen, meanwhile, rallied after the drug, after drug distributing company Amerisource Bergen signed